Art is kind of the elemental part of ourselves that expresses who we are and what our societies and civilizations are about. It's elusive and endlessly fascinating. So not only are the arts important for us as individuals to relate to our humanity and to our uh, society, but it's important for us to learn those skills of creative thinking and arts education provides that. McLean Project for the Arts is a gem. You can come, you can appreciate art, you can learn about art, you can experience art right here in your own community. Other folks look to us and say, how did you do it? How can we develop more organizations like MPA? And we were able to do it because we had the support of our community. We are grassroots, and that's why we've been able to survive over the past 50 years, and it's why we'll be here for a long time to come. MPA was founded by a group of women artists in 1962. Lucille Sanders really ought to be mentioned in history because it was her idea. She was a painter who lived out here. Lucille said, we ought to start a gallery and get other painters to come here and let people see what is really being painted in this area because there are good painters in the Washington area and we should give them a place to show. In 1962, they were founded as Emerson Gallery because the first location was on Emerson Street in McLean. We each said we'll put in $300 and we'll rent a place and we'll show paintings of artists that live here, here and now. And we said, let's see how long we can keep it going. Remember happenings? We had a happening where all kinds of things that were exciting happened. One of our members, who shall remain nameless, volunteered to have a body painting done. She wore a bikini. So that was exciting. And they moved 10 times over the course of the next 25 years until we landed in our partnership here in the McLean Community Center. MPA is very much indebted to the McLean Community Center and Fairfax County Board of Supervisors for uh, approving our public-private partnership. And it enabled us to move in here into the McLean Community Center so that we could provide our programs, the exhibitions and classes. The space is beautiful. It's just such a gorgeous and versatile gallery space. The staff is incredibly professional but also really fun. The best thing about working here always is working with the artists. Jerry Brock was a very important part of McLean Project for the Arts. Jerry was our first um, executive director and served for 20 years guiding MPA, growing its programs. And her son Anthony is carrying on the legacy. Susan B. DeVal was one of our, our first board members, um, an avid artist. Her husband, Clive, offered to build us a studio in her honor, which was just fabulous. And now we offer about 200 classes a year in all different types of medium, painting, drawing, watercolor, pastel, abstract classes, uh, figure drawing, open studio. We have about 1,200 students a year. So it's a very lively place and one of the nicest studios you can find to take art classes in. We are so proud of ArtReach. It is just something that our board of directors and our staff all feel so passionate about. We've, we've always been involved with the schools since our inception in 1962 but our program became even more formalized and more professional when Sharon Fischel joined our staff 18 years ago. We were the first visual arts center in Northern Virginia to start targeting the at-risk youth and offering free bus transportation for them to come to the galleries. And that has just made such a difference in their lives and for us as well, too. When they come here, it's their first time that many of them have ever been to an art gallery and seen real art and their eyes just light up. It was beautiful. I couldn't believe what I saw. It was one of my favorite field trips ever. I just wanted to say thank you. The client project for the arts filling a major void, I think, and helping them develop appreciations for things that could make a difference for the rest of their lives. I'm a huge fan of uh, Art Fest. I think it's one of the best events we have in McLean and does an awful lot to uh, create that sense of community that's so important. 
We provide the space for about 40 artists to show their work and to sell their work. McLean Orchestra, McLean Symphony, perform in the gazebo during the day. There's a children's art tent. Just outstanding opportunity for the younger kids to put their dis artwork on uh, display and I think they, they must take tremendous pride in that and I think just overall, I mean, it's hard to, it's hard to point to anything about it that is not just uh, really good. I think every year it just gets bigger and better. I think uh, you know, 10 years from now we're probably not going to recognize it. Uh, it, it. It just has, uh, it's catching on. It's very costly in my household. <laughs> we never go away without something. I really admire our founders and the early board of directors for being so smart and dedicated in how they put together this organization that it would survive. And I, I wonder if they knew uh, that it would last 50 years. Yeah, I kind of think we did. I think we wouldn't have worked so hard at it if we hadn't thought it was going to be something that would last.